If the city tore up the street you live on, you'd think it would be repaved eventually. An Albuquerque man says he's been badgering the city for almost two years to do its job, but he keeps getting the runaround. On special assignment tonight, the street of broken promises. Uh, I want to see about getting my road graded. I've called before, but nothing has ever happened. Nicholas Rios has spent more time on the phone with the city than he cares to think about. This is Mr. Rios. I was just disconnected with uh, one of the ladies there. This is just the latest in a nearly two-year effort to get the one-block stretch of road in front of his house paved. The last time I talked to somebody, they said uh, by the end of June, we would see some, uh, some work done on our road. And that still hasn't happened. The road was torn up when the city installed water and sewer service in this southwest part of town at the end of 2009. Well, let's start, let's start this over again. Um, so I requested some grading done on our road. The city promised to pave the road. That promise has lingered for more than a year and a half. Maybe the tenth time I called back on a reference number or somebody, that's when I spoke to the manager and she was like, oh yeah, let me get you directed to the right person. But the right person still hasn't done anything. I was giving up on them already. It was like nothing's ever going to happen. So it's, that's when I called you. So we called the city. We have been in contact with Mr. Rios. We let them know that we were going to get to it as soon as possible. The Department of Municipal Development says the delays are a function of scheduling and expense. I don't recall ever being in a situation where city government works fast. You know, there's a lot of things to do. What we're doing is we're, we're working to get the best bang for the taxpayer dollar. Motsko says the delay has allowed the city to cut the price of the project by more than half to about $35,000. We have a contractor that's in town that can do it for a cheaper price than what our in-house con uh, construction guys, paving guys can do it for. So we are saving taxpayer money. Bottom line. Bottom line is we're going to have a paved road on Saturday. But Rios says he's been down this road before and he'll believe it when he sees it. The last time I called back on one, they said, oh, this project, it says it's already been done. And I'm like, what? You know, I was like, you got to be kidding me. I said, no, nothing's been done here. In the meantime, the city has graded that road and oiled it to keep the dust down. We'll let you know when the crews finally get out there and finish that job. After more than a year and a half fighting City Hall, an Albuquerque man finally got the road in front of his house Paved. Nicholas Rios and his neighbors have been complaining ever since the city tore up one block of Sunset Gardens Road in southwest Albuquerque at the end of 2009 to install water and sewer service. Now, we brought you their story last week. The road crew showed up to pave that road this weekend. This is awesome. This is what we needed back, you know, back on our road again, some fresh asphalt, you know, the way it was before. Yeah, this is great. I, appreciate what what you guys did for us now the city insists the delay was necessary to find the cheapest way to get that job done and they say that by waiting they save taxpayers about thirty five thousand dollars